You Keep Shooting with Brian Peterson, where you'll learn unique and creative techniques that will elevate your photography skills. You know, I felt for many, many times that my students are the best teachers of all because they've certainly taught me a lot. And in this particular tip, Andrew Roberts from Canada, who was participating in a workshop I taught in Oregon, he certainly taught me a lot. I gave him a starfish, that was it. I said, Andrew, take it from here. Well, as you're about to see, Andrew did a bang-up job along with the help of a Nikon SB900 flash and Andrew's favorite wide angle, the Nikkor 14 to 24 millimeter lens. Let's go find out exactly what all the fuss is about. Hi, this is Brian Peterson inviting you to check out Adorama's latest contest. This could be your chance to win some great prizes. Well, we find ourselves down here in Seal Rock Beach in the central Oregon coast. And I'm here with the incredible photographer, Andrew Roberts. And along with Andrew is being assisted by Sharon. She's also in the workshop. And I delivered to Andrew a starfish that we had found a little bit further down the beach that was not attached to any rocks. And I said, here, have yourself a starfish. I had no clue what Andrew was going to do with it, but leave it to Andrew, this master of photography, who knows how to take a starfish and make it work. We're going to use our flash and take an amazing landscape here. You'll notice we've got the starfish here, and Sharon's got a flash, Nikon SB910. Andrew's got his 14 to 24 Nikkor lens. Look at the shot itself from behind them. Clearly, you can see they're silhouetted against the backlight of the sun. That's the same sun that Andrew's going to be shooting against. So let's set this up. We need massive depth of field because the starfish is in the foreground. The distant rocks are at infinity. So he's at 22. The second thing is we want to kill as much as the ambient light as possible, getting that silhouette effect. So he's at a 250th of a second. At a 250th of the F22, the flash spits out a flash to subject distance at one to one full power of approximately eight feet. Not a good idea because we're very close, in this case about 12 inches. So we power down, power down, power down, ending up at 128th power. And now you guys ready? Yep. Take your shot and let's show them what happens. Take a look at that. Notice how the starfish is glowing in the foreground from the top light of the flash and the background, that wonderful silhouette with the sun itself in the distant background too. That is an amazing shot. Let's hear it for Andrew Roberts. Yeah! Well, Something you also can do, I don't have a doubt about it. You need a 14 to 24 Nikkor at 14 or any 14 millimeter on a full frame camera. Got to use 22. Power down your flash and shoot into the backlight. Take off your filters. One other point, you can't put them on this lens, so I don't need to remind Andrew, but for those of you that have a wide angle that size, take off a UV or the, the uh, skylight that you might be using to not get yourself any more flaring than you may already. Having those UV filters on at that time of day into the sun can cause additional flaring. Hey, until next time at the beautiful Seal Rock, Oregon coast, this is Brian Peterson and all my students saying, you keep shooting.